In this further catatology case, we have a patient who's slightly undercorrected after treatment, and even with the residual refraction in place, is not seeing very well. The post-treatment topography does show a little bit of superior decentration of the treatment zone. It's not so much that I'd expect the VA to be so reduced, but I think re uh, dropping this zone down should help the patient see a little bit better. Here's a lens that the patient's using for the left eye right now. And if you look at the topography representation in the wave window, it does look fairly asymmetric, superior versus inferior. But I think some of this is artifact coming from the, uh, the flat areas that the topographer is picking up here around the lashes. If we look at an axial or a uh, spherical offset map for this, and I'll, I'll bring one up here. In the spherical offset map, if we compare top to bottom, this cornea is pretty regular, except for these areas out here, which um, I think are influencing the way that the scout software is interpreting the data and then therefore designing a baseline lens. So if you come back to the patient's lens and we just look at the curvatures on the back of the lens, we can see that superior here uh, down towards the edge of the lens were in the low 30s, whereas inferiorly, which is on this side, we're up in the mid to upper 30s. So we've got uh, quite a bit of discrepancy between the curve right outside or within the landing zone uh, between the superior and inferior corneas. And I think that's affecting how the lens is fitting. So what I would recommend doing is going in and um, maybe in 50% mode, bumping this down in the superior meridian. So we're steepening the curve in the landing zone a little bit. And now we're a little bit more symmetric with respect to the inferior part of the lens. So we go back to this view here. It's gonna look kind of wonky because of what we did here, but um, we, we should still get pretty pretty good seal. The sagittal depth at the blue point shouldn't have changed very much because we made all the changes here at the pin control point. But I think this should help push the lens down a little bit. With this change, I would recommend going into the box here, checking the prism, and then asking the lab to dot the lens for you at the prism ballast location. And that will just help us make sure that the lens is orienting. At least, maybe not, we don't have a guarantee of how the lens sits while the eyes closed, but we can observe behind the slit lamp and we can also ask the patient to check the lens before we're moving to see if that dot is down below at six o'clock, ensuring that the change we made is affecting the superior part of the cornea. So that change should drop the lens a little bit and get the patient seeing a little bit better. At this point, I don't think we need to change the base curve because the initial base curve for the right eye, where that lens is centering very well, seems to work, seems to have worked just fine. So those are my thoughts on this case. Just make that change to the superior quadrant 50% mode, and hopefully your patient will be doing a little bit better. So best of luck with your patient.